1 Peter 3.15 says, Instead, you must worship Christ as Lord of your life. And if someone asks you about your hope as a believer, always be ready to explain it. What this verse is saying is that when we worship Christ as Lord of our life, the attitude of worship that we have in everything is going to be apparent to others. It's gonna seep into every aspect of our lives. If you're living a life of worship, people will notice, whether it's because you remain positive in difficult situations, or you show love to people who aren't necessarily the easiest to love, or just not going along with the crowd um, at work or at school, whether in your actions or your attitude or your language. When we take on this life of worship, it should, if we're doing it correctly, become apparent to others. And when we do this, people are going to notice. And they're gonna ask you why. I think almost every Christian at one point or another has had someone come up and ask them, why are you like this? Why are you the way you are? And that can be a really tough question. Um, the answer, you know, obviously, you, you know, you say I worship Jesus or I'm a Christian or whatever. But to really unpack that and explain that, we need to be ready to answer that because it's really tough and it can be hard to put into words. Um, I know that when I was younger in youth group, we were encouraged to kind of have um, our testimony down to just a couple of minutes so that we could explain it to people. Um, and we need to really anticipate this question and be ready to answer um, for others. But this wasn't part of my verse, but I'm actually going to read verse 16 as well. The first sentence of it says, but do this in a gentle and respectful way. Christians can get a really bad rap for being judgmental or for thinking they're better than others. And to be quite honest, um, a lot of people who have that perspective have been hurt in some way or another, and it's a, it's a valid thought. So what we need to do, and it is so important for us to do, is explain that we are saved by grace and that we could not live this way without a savior. And this is a free gift to anyone. So always be prepared to give a reason for the hope that you have, but in your next breath, you should always be telling others how they can also receive this hope as well. Thank you.